I mean, it's hard to believe that yesterday we were close to the 70s and then the temperatures were in the 40s today. Even harder to believe, like you said, snow falling in Indiana and <laughs> farther north had accumulation. Some areas got close to over three inches of snow in that Fort Wayne. Near Fort Wayne, okay. Uh, yeah, the, the, the definitely that heavier accumulation north of Fort Wayne, but you can see that the ground is covered. This is a portion of I-69 in Fort Wayne. Uh, they were even reporting some slushy roads farther north, north in Indiana, but you can see live Doppler 13 showing that band of rain and snow coming off of Lake Michigan. That's been the culprit for all of this snow is actually stretching farther south into the Indianapolis area. We've had reports of a few snowflakes in Zionsville and Brownsburg. We have some of that light rain moving through Marion County near Lawrence, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see one or two snowflakes throughout the overnight hours. Our temperatures right now, most of us are seeing those 30s and we are going to be dropping around freezing or colder by tomorrow morning, but let me tell you, it's going to feel even and colder. We have that freeze warning that's currently in effect. Feel like temperatures are going to be dropping down into the teens in the morning. All right, Chelsea Stevens in for Angela tonight. Thank you. We'll check back in. This is a great time to make sure you have the live Doppler 13 weather app downloaded this week. If you want to track these frigid temperatures, as Chelsea said, we're going to swing back into the 70s too, so stay with us. You can follow along with daily weather blogs and the latest on this freeze warning. It's a free download in your phone's app store.